Are you a juice manufacturer that wants better quality control while reducing cost? Stay tuned to see how this instrument can help you out. Welcome to Electron Machine Corporation, manufacturer of the world's most rugged refractometer. Our refractometers are used in a variety of industries throughout the world. The next series of videos will highlight some of the most common applications for our refractometers. We have our NPRE scan set up on a demonstration equipment. This is usually installed in a pipeline. Today I have a static cup on it and I have a variety of juices for us over here to measure. The juice industry uses the refractometers to make sure they have consistent product, either concentrating it or blending it. In case of orange juices, you may blend different varieties to keep the same flavor and taste throughout the year. You also may concentrate it or apple juice up to a solid in the can, and then you will use the refractometer to ensure it stays consistent so that when you add your three or four cans of water to it, it tastes like it should. And then in other cases, they sometimes add sugar to the juices, so they want to control the bricks content, and that's where the refractometer excels. What we will do is we'll take a little sample of each, we'll place it in the sample cup, and we'll get a reading, we'll clean it off with water, and we'll move to the next product. So you have to give it a minute to stabilize. We just flooded the sensor with a lot of light. Normally this instrument would be installed in the side of a pipeline. This looks like it has a sugar content of around um, eight bricks, nine bricks. That's a standard term. Maybe nine bricks will be where it stabilizes that. And we'll clean it off and we'll go to the lemonade. Now I've placed the lemonade sample on, we're letting it stabilize. It looks like it's coming in on around 11 bricks. Uh, so the lemonade is actually a little bit sweeter than the orange juice in this case. So now we've got the apple juice on and the instrument stabilizing. It looks like it's around a 10 and a half bricks. Looks like that would be about an average. The apple juice is actually from concentrate and um, doesn't appear to have any sugar added. The, this lemon juice actually does have some cane sugar added. And this says it's 100% orange juice. No, no, so that looks like 100% orange juice, nothing added. Typically this instrument would be installed in the lime. They would use it when they're concentrating it up to make sure it's the right process or up to the right bricks level so when you add your water to it. Or in the case of the orange juice, that's a blended orange juice. So they take a different varieties and they're trying to keep it same throughout the year. And then lemonade, obviously they're adding sugar to the lemonade to give it some good flavor. So this instrument is used in the application. We also have a bench top unit that can be used as well. But typically this would be installed in the side of the pipe giving a continuous reading throughout the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick little look into what the refractometer actually can do and how it measures orange juice. Stay tuned for the next series of videos where we'll highlight another product for the refractometer to measure.